So, new noob, you are our reporter for E3. You literally film and watch all of E3 and give us an extensive, exclusive breakdown. How do you feel? I'm so sad right now. I can poop. Oh, my God. That's right. E3 has been canceled. The I don't even know what E3 stands for. Electronic, Electronic Education Expo. Expo. Is it what is it? Electronic something Expo. Education. Yeah. Electronic Erectile Dysfunction. Expo. Electronics Electronics Expo. <laughs> You've been watching for how many years? A lot of years. But so you don't even know what it stands for? Something Expo. Yes. With electronics. With electronics. Oh, wait. Electronics Entertainment Expo. Ah, there you go. That's what it is. I figured you'd figure it out eventually. Yeah. So it looks like it's been canceled. It's weird. There's no digital or physical show. They really struggled uh, to make it after COVID, but looks like it's done. Microsoft, Nintendo, Ubisoft, and other major players have all confirmed that they will have no presence on the E3 show floor. Now the event won't even happen at all. See, I'm a, I'm an old veteran of the K Biz show, the Kitchen and Bath Industry show. You're an old uh, hat to the E3 show. Yeah. I think E3 was bigger than K Biz. E3 was huge back in the day. And you love those booth babes. Absolutely. I used to take off an entire week and watch this, but not actually talk to any booth babes. Nonstop. No, because it would be virtual. Oh, just so you couldn't go in person. Oh, my God. Them. Yes, of course. When Olivia Munn and Kevin Prayer were on G4, Olivia Munn was, like, super hot at the time. She's still pretty hot, I'll be honest. You but would put a baby in her. Absolutely. A bun in the oven, if you will. Yeah. I met many booth babes and interviewed many of them. I don't have any of those interviews on file, but they were exclusives. Also, I'm better looking than John Mulaney. Yeah. That dude's not that funny. Not that good looking, and his voice is annoying. I mean, you do have lesbian hair, and he does not. A thirsty lesbian I can cut that hair. right now. I'm doing this on purpose for my lesbian. Mm-hmm. Well, Reed Pop and the Entertainment Software Association, the ESA, have announced that, that both digital and physical events for E3 2023 are canceled. Is E3 done forever? I Honestly, it might be at this point. They might just have, like, one-off shows. Like, Sony will have their own thing. X, you know, Microsoft's going to have their own thing. Ubisoft. But there will be, like, E3 is its own event. Yeah. Where and it's very expensive to pay for these. It costs so much money to put these on. And if, if the companies are not getting any value back, they're not going to do it. Remember when Marvel was dropping out of uh, San Diego Comic-Con yeah, and things the, like that? All the cons and all the expos, they're kind of dying off, which is sad. Because it used to be a good time to have everything all in one place for a couple days or a week straight. And you could get, you know, the entire news feed of you know movies games tv shows you know all all in one place now remember just, when dc fandom was really good for like one year and then they yeah, literally it up. one year yeah and then they totally effed it up i think they'll eventually go back to something but it'll have to take some time for it to recover the quote is this was a difficult decision because of all the effort we and our partners put towards making this event happen but we had to do what's right for the industry and what's right for E3. They didn't want to lose money. We appreciate and understand that interested companies wouldn't have playable demos ready. Yeah, because they're, you know, don't make games anymore. And that resourcing challenges made being at E3 this summer an obstacle they could not overcome. They could not import any more Ukrainian booth babes. For those who did commit to E3 2023, we're sorry we can't put you on the showcase you deserve and that you've come to expect from Reed Pop's event experience. Very sad. Very challenging. They're blaming the pandemic that changed the timeline for game development. I don't think anybody's got anything big to release either, right? Uh, No, Sony's got Spider-Man 2 coming out soon. No. Um... There's some there's some big games coming up. I would say that the one I can think of the most is is Spider-Man 2 for PS5. So this guy, Jeff Niley, he's like, here's 15-year-old me at the first ever E3 in 1995. E3 meant so much to me and so many of you too. Four years ago, I realized that E3 wasn't involving 
as it needed to compete in a global digital world. So we started building what's Jeff next. Jeff Keighley, I fucking, that dude's kind of a bitch. Yes, he is. See me or see at Summer Game Fest. He's going to do something totally different. It looks like he's shaking hands with Duke Nukem. It does kind of look like that, yeah. Yeah, so I thought this was pretty big news. Some people haven't really covered it. I think a lot of people really hate Jeff Keighley. Yeah, he was not. He was on, what was it, Spike TV, Game, something or other. Where, like, all of the E3 coverage I used to watch as a kid was through G4. So I, I didn't watch Jeff Keighley until they got... I think he had, like, an exclusive Microsoft conference for a while, so I had to watch it, but yeah. E3 was great. Does he have something to do with, the, like, the Game Awards? He does, yeah, because Spike He's TV used to host the Video Game Awards, which I used to love. Is he the one... Wasn't there, like, a recent Game Awards with the dude from God of War where he was talking about, like, he got injured and, like, they had to, like, play him off the stage and stuff, and that was Jeff Knightley's event. Was that not the thing? It might have been. I honestly have, like... it's It's gone down in quality and... Are we misnoming? Yes, we're mis Keeling. Is that the wrong I mean, guy? I don't know, man. Are you the expert? You're the reporter who covers no, I, this. I used to be. I used to be. You were covered, you covered last year's. I don't even know if there was E3 last year. Yeah, how do you not know that? I when don't you think there was. cover and record the whole thing. Yeah. And no, there's nothing to record. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing. This uh, the event anymore. was supposed to run from June thirteenth to, to the sixteenth in Los Angeles. It would have been the first in person E three since twenty nineteen. Should we look up this dude and just make sure we're talking about the right guy? Jeff Keeley, yeah. No, E three used to be <clears throat> amazing because it used to start on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday with conferences from Ubisoft, Microsoft. Sony, Nintendo, and they were like three hours long, and it was amazing. And it was just a bunch of game demos and news and console on He's a Canadian journalist. You know, it, it he's was definitely that guy, isn't he? Yeah, no, Jeff Keighley's. Yeah, he's shit. the video game awards guy who's like kind of a jackal. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a soy boy. And then, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was just game demos and coverage. Sexy of, girls. It was amazing. Didn't they have e the Playboy girl? E3 play back yeah. in, I would say, let's let's say from like 2008 to 2014. Why don't we date how old you are? I'm 31. Um, 55? Yeah. 19, you graduated from high school in eight, 1985? In 1945, actually. Oh, okay. Right when Hitler died. Oh, my God. Was when I graduated. I was like, I'm not graduating until that Jew hater is done. Jesus Christ. So I was like, I'm <laughs> you're clearly a, telling me to take the exit road. I'm taking a stand. I know you're you not. Know, oven's off, honestly, Jesus for me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, All right. So you don't like Jeff Keighley. And are you sad or happy that this is canceled? So, I'm sad because this was a big part of my childhood. I literally this was one of my favorite weeks out of the entire. And you year. never went in person. I, I wanted to. I never Because did. you're a basement dweller. Yes. You wait it's for kind, night action. It's also like the Super Bowl. Like you pay an exorbitant amount of money to see less than what you would as if you just watched it on TV. Gotcha. So. Even though being in person would involve interacting with human beings. Yeah. Who needs that? It's too difficult. It's. I'd rather be in the basement. Mm -hmm. Snacks and all. Snacks. Sweaty men. Yeah. Mountain Dew. No girlfriends. No. Absolutely. Who needs girlfriends? Or girlfriends serving you food. Yeah, you have your mother for that. Okay, why do so, why you have a girlfriend? Exactly. You who do? Who needs who needs a girlfriend when you have your parents to give you things for free? Absolutely. Well, that wraps us up. Let us know, are you sad about E3? Should they continue E3? Should we start our own noob entertainment experience? The Knee. Would you like to come to The Knee? Would you like to see Noob Noob hosted since he's the same kind of ass clown that this guy is? Anyway, let us know in the comments below and catch our full-length audio podcast, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those places for free to you. Also, you can catch us on Rumble and YouTube live streaming Friday nights, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you there. Lots of giveaways. We love all y'all, but we are on to the next one. Bye.